Hi Chief, this is Jim in the command center. Just wanted to let you know that uh, we're getting multiple reports of a vegetation fire, uh, Multiview and Gavlin. Uh, we'll call this a Gavlin fire. I have Battalion 40 in route, nobody's on scene yet. And I'll keep you posted with updates and I'll be uh, entering this into ladders. Okay, all right, I'll let you know. Paris Battalion 40 is on scene. I'll be assuming the Gavlin IC. Got about 50 acres, rapid rate of spread, grass to medium brush. Got at least a thousand acres potential with an immediate structure threat. Start me RSO for evacuations, County OES, and Edison. I'm going to set my ICP at Station 4, Cahalco. I'll be switching over to ladders, uh, give you a good map. We'll establish the ICP at Station 4. What's the staging area? Dirt field over here at Gavlin, Cahalco. There's the origin. Perimeter. Hey Jim, can you give me an update on the Gavilan incident? Uh, yeah, Battalion 40 just went on scene as the Gavilan I see. Uh, he states that he's got about 50 acres, rapid rate of spread, winds out of the northeast 30 to 50 miles an hour. We're also getting multiple reports of uh, spot fires well outside his perimeter that he's drawn into ladders here. Um, if uh, these spot fires are correct, which we still have to confirm with him, we're looking at about 600 acres. Okay, I'll make sure the duty chief's aware of it. Thank All right. Hey, Lauren, can you get in touch with the Gavlin IC and let him know that he needs to go to the Paris ECC room and ladders, and uh, there's some information that I put in there that he needs to validate. Paris, Gavlin IC, I copy. I'm going to go to the collaboration room of ECC and look for those spots. size for our fire about 600 acres at this time okay bill hey thanks for the update i'm looking at your fire in the LDDRS here in my office and i agree with everything that you've uh, provided me with looks like you're gonna have a major fire on your hands andy we're sitting right about here right now we, this fire is blowing uh, hard in this direction uh, we're going to need some roadblocks and we're going to need some evacuations we opened up uh, two files in LDDRS, or two tabs, <clears throat> for you guys. Let's look at uh, roads first. Right now, the way I see it, we're going to need to have uh, three roadblocks to start containing this area. I think we should have one down here at Santa Rosa Mine Road, and I think we need one up here at Lake Matthews and Cahalco. 
and I think the last one will be at Gavlin and Cahalco. And then when we go to our evacuations, I've got the few more roads up on on this one. Uh, the yellow is our evacuation order area. I think that the fire is going to be in here in about a half hour, 45 minutes. Okay. Um, and we've got these both up on LDDRS. Uh, we're going to uh, have problems out here, obviously, on the left flank. Our ICP is at Station 4, Calco on Calco Road. You got any questions? No, what I'll do is I'll have my deputies pull it up on ladder. We'll go in there once we evacuate, set up our roadblocks. We'll go ahead and mark it in green. That way we have a clear understanding which is uh, cleared uh, at that time and which needs to be evacuated. That sounds great. Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Public Information. Yes, that's correct. There's a fire burning in Gavilan Hills. And our incident command post is at Station 4 on Kinhoka Road. And yes, there are evacuation centers open. There are evacuation areas that are going to be posting from our ladders map from the incident. It'll be on our website in just a few minutes. Hey, Joe. We just got an update that Citrus Hill High School is open for evacuees and IC is advising 600 plus acres. Hi, Chief Weiser. This is Faye Glass, OES 6, the duty officer. And I would like to get a quick rundown of the incident that you're working, the Gavlin incident. I'm in the ladders right now, and I just need to know um, would you like to have the purple or the yellow area? I would like to activate the early warning notification system. I will be working with Riverside Sheriff Department along with the Red Cross um, Animal Services for animal evacuation, and we'll also send an OES rep to the scene. And as well, we will be activating um, our EOC to a level one in support of your incident. Hey Chief, do you have a second? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about the fire out in Riverside, the Gavilan fire. Mm -hmm. Currently running 600 plus acres, they're having a lot of spotting issues down on the, the, the head of the fire. Um, one of the things that they're kind of concerned about that they've brought up is they're preparing to do evacuations. They have evacuation ordered, highlighted right here. Additionally, they have an evacuation warning area that's spreading all the way out across the 15. Um, they're using reverse 911 system on that. On, on that, that's a power line right now. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. So that's threatened. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, we've gone over their most recent report on conditions. They're currently setting it at 600 plus acres. They have extreme rate of spread. Um, potential for 5,000 acres, you know, and again, typical very, very hot weather. So uh, on this, go ahead and push that rock forward. Copy. Uh, also, re see if they're looking at a team deployment for this. It looks like it's moving fast and, and they've got a lot of infrastructure issues out in front. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make notification to, to Sacramento uh, based on the power lines and the uh, uh, nature of this fire. Thank <laughs> you.